Ducks are pretty to look at but their personality is far from cute. They're noisy, aggressive, and will chase you around your property if you allow them to. This is not the pet you want to raise if you're looking for something mellow and calm. But there must be some way to train these rowdy birds. It turns out, training ducks to stop quacking isn't easy. However, with the right methods and tools it's totally possible. With just a few household products and some creativity, you can train these ducks into the perfect companions for any household. How to train a duck, tips for training ducks. Ducks are pretty amazing animals. They walk tall on their webbed feet, they can fly, and they are actually pretty smart for animals. When you think about it, training a duck might just be an easy home project. The first step to training your duck is to figure out what he likes the most. For the most part, anything will work as long as it's not too big or too small. Think of what your duck would like best when he is in his natural environment, like live worms or fish. But for this section we are going to go with some pellets because it's easier for us humans to handle them. Ducks are naturally curious animals which is why they will play with anything new. They also love water, so it is best to train them when they are near or in water so they can get used to the sensation. Why would I need to train a duck? Training a duck is an interesting and humorous way to illustrate the importance of training employees. Training a duck can be a fun and creative way to illustrate the importance of training employees. Ducks are naturally curious animals that will often move around on their own accord, roaming off into different areas. The analogy of training a duck will be used to explain how we may neglect some important aspects in the development and retention process if we do not train our ducks employees. The analogy of training a duck will be used to explain the importance of employee training. Ducks are born with waterproof feathers which are able to protect them from any water contact until they are six months old. This allows the ducks to explore the world without any worry of getting wet until it is time for migration. Humans are also born with an innate sense of how the world works, which they learn through their environment and other beings. What does training duck have to do with training dogs? Training ducks is a method that is used in the traditional dog training. It is also known as clicker training. Telling a story about how it can be done with dogs, you could say that training ducks is the clicker sound. It's sometimes called clicker training because it's similar to clicking a trainer's tongue for a dog. Clicker trainers use this sound to let their dog know when they are doing something right, just like they would use it for telling them when they are doing something wrong. The sound of clicking for cats has been studied by researchers who found that cats respond better to clicks than tones or whistles, making them an excellent choice for mouse training. We are living in times where everything is changing. From jobs to skills, things are changing fast. Training duck has to do with training dogs. Tips for training ducks. Tip 1, give them a nest box to sleep in and keep them warm. Tip 2, make sure the ducklings have feed and water. Tip 3, introduce them to other ducks and let them play together. Tip 4, keep their pen dry so that they don't get sick or stressed out with wet feet or feathers. Ducks are very curious animals and can be surprisingly tame. Ducks are plentiful in the wild, but they are also domesticated pets for many people. Ducks will eat just about anything, so their diet doesn't really need to be monitored. They do not require any special housing, but they do enjoy having a pool to swim in. Ducks make great pets for people who live in rural areas because they can wander around outside all day without worrying about traffic or other dangers. Ducks are social creatures that enjoy being around other ducks or pets of the same species. They feel most comfortable when they have company to hang out with, so if you plan to keep a duck as a pet it is best for them to have at least one friend with them at all times. Ducks also like interacting with humans, even if it's just watching you do your day-to-day -day activities. They also enjoy living near bodies of water because this is where they prefer gathering food and relaxing when the weather is unfavorable. It is important to train ducks soon after they hatch. The older they get, the more difficult it becomes. Cautions when teaching ducks new tricks. The industry of teaching ducks is a $4,000 billion dollar industry. It is important that the person training the duck understand the limits of the animal and what it can do naturally. If done incorrectly, it can cause stress to the animal and undo any progress made in training. 
This section will cover three different techniques for teaching a duck new tricks, with a clicker, by hand feeding, and with an object for them to chase after. After reading this section, you will know how to teach a duck new tricks as well as what needs to be done before beginning such an endeavor. Do not fret, teaching a duck new tricks is harder than you think. As the saying goes, if something can go wrong, it will. There are common mistakes that you should avoid when teaching ducks new tricks. Do not make the training too challenging. Do not take shortcuts. Do not try to teach them things they don't want to learn. Never forget to reward them for their hard work and successes. The ultimate guide to training ducks and making them your own personal pets. Ducks are wonderful animals, they are very social and intelligent. They often follow their owners around the house, and they love to play in the water. There are many different breeds of ducks, some that lay more eggs than others. Tips you should avoid when training a duck. Ducks are very cute and cuddly creatures. They can be trained as pets with a little patience and gentle guidance. However, there are some things that you should never do, as they will make training a duck nearly impossible. Ducks are a popular choice for a pet. This is due to their laid-back demeanor and easygoing nature. However, there are some common mistakes made by owners that can have long-term consequences for the health of the duck. Don't be impatient, it's going to take time for the duck to learn. Always stay calm and patient. Be kind and understanding. Ducks are an animal that many people find fascinating. They come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes and can be found all around the world. They are excellent pets and they require very little space to live in. We will cover all aspects of duck ownership, from choosing the right duck for you, to how to care for them, to having fun with them. Duck ownership has grown in the last few years and for good reason. Ducks are great pets to have around the farm or on a pond. They are friendly, lively animals that can provide a lot of entertainment. In this course we will cover all aspects of having a duck as a pet, from choosing the right duck for you, to how to care for them, to having fun with them. Why you should train your duck. Ducks are versatile animals that are easy to train. They are great for providing companionship, pest control, and entertainment. Ducks can be house trained and will follow their owners around. They can be used as guard dogs because of their loud quacks which will scare away intruders. Their high intelligence level makes them easy to train with positive reinforcement. Training your duck can have a number of benefits. Firstly, it will help to build a stronger bond between you and your pet. Secondly, it will help to teach the animal's boredom or anxiety. And finally, teaching your duck basic commands such as sit and stay can also be helpful when dealing with other animals such as cats or dogs. Training your duck is a good idea because it will be easier to teach them tricks. Training also helps them understand boundaries and provides mental stimulation. Ducks are not naturally obedient animals. They need to be trained. Teaching them tricks is a great way to keep them busy and mentally stimulated, but they also need a set of boundaries in order for training to be effective. What should I feed to a duck? Ducks are often found living in wetlands or near ponds. They feed on duckweed, aquatic plants, seeds and small animals like insects and crustaceans. Ducks are a common sight in ponds and wetlands. They can be found near water, feeding on plants and small animals. Some of the plants that ducks eat are duckweed, aquatic plants and seeds. Ducks love to eat insects and crustaceans from the pond's surface. Ducks love to eat small animals like frogs and tadpoles. They can be found in any type of body of water, such as ponds, lakes, rivers, and wetlands. They use plant food to survive. 